Hi, I'm Emilio Franchi, Senior Product Manager for our Enrichment Company, and today we're going to be talking about making PTC access measurements over the air. And in our setup, we have a PTC access radio connected to a Comms Manager software running on a laptop PC. We have antennas connected on the radio and also on our S412E LMR Master. And we're going to go and make some measurements uh, for PTC access. So the key first thing you have need to do is set up your frequency. In our case, we're set up at 220.106, 250 megahertz and you set that up on our frequency menu. You can also validate that you are set up correctly by going into your, um, into your uh, measurements here. And you can change your, um, this back to the spec analyzer and maximize it. And verify that you are centered on the correct frequency. That's a key measure, key uh, function of the spec analyzer. Other things that you need to set up are things such as your uh, your reference level, which will be determined when your preamp is turned on. Uh, also, you can set up auto, auto receive range to on or off. In this case, we're setting it up to off because we're basically in a stationary scenario. If you're in a moving scenario, such as a rail car that's moving through its uh, a network, you want to set that auto range to on, so it basically adjusts to the signal strength that it's receiving. And um, next, we would go into the setups. We can look at things like our trigger setup, so we're set up for RF triggering in this case, and it's probably your, or the default and what you want to do. Uh, again, your RF trigger level, you want to set it up around minus 60 dBm for over-the-air messaging that, or capture of the signals. Uh, your beacon, RX ignore beacon, you want to turn that up, up off. The only time you want to turn that on is if the only thing you want to measure are the wayside radios. When you turn that off, it gives you both wayside and beacons, which is what you want to do for a coverage test. And for your uh, timeout, I recommend six seconds. In this case, it shows up as milliseconds. Basically, that's the whole length of the EBOC message, and that way it guarantees they're going to capture all the, the bits that are in that message. Then we get into our measurement screen. You, pick, you hit the PTC access analyzer, and again, you have all of these information that's available to you. We already showed you the spectrum analyzer. Uh, the other key ones that you want to look at are things like your the summary table, where you have the your RF measurements first, the receive power of the signal you're, you're looking at, the peak envelope power, and the frequency error. Then you get into some more of the digital measurements, such as EVM error, vector magnitude, bit error rate, and phase and magnitude error, which are components of EVM. Your packet error rate, so basically you could have a bit error rate that could be small or large, but how does it affect the packets? So that's what you're looking at to, to differentiate between the two and a number of packets that were used to make those measurements. We can also look at the payload table. In this case, it's in hex. So this is something a lot of the rail engineers know which uh, numbers to look at, including the railroad ID that is within this hex message. And they can uh, uh, help to troubleshoot some of the, uh, any problems they may have as far as the cars, rail cars are expecting versus what they're actually receiving on the rail. Um, and we can also look at your message decode table. So for some of the, the messages, we actually can decode the message because we, we've gotten that information from some other railroads. And in this case, we're looking at sort of like the source ID, the source type is an office message. We're also looking at the time slot in the frame and time slot in the ebook for this. And there are other, uh, other things that we can look at. So. Uh, I'm going to switch over to our constellation. So there are two more. So the constellation looks at the GMSK signal that is used for PTC access. It's really basically a face changing uh, signal, so it looks like a ring. If it doesn't look like a ring, then something's really off, and you would, should see that on the EVM uh, error message. And then the other one that we can look at is the eye diagram. So. This is a key mess, uh, measurement also for PTC access. Again, if you have a clean signal, you can see something like this, where you can see the definitive eyes within the diagram. If it's very noisy, then you know you have some problems with this, the signal that you're, the quality that you're receiving. And that is PTC access over the air measurements. Thank you very much.